vagina. JJ Vag. I'm talking about vaginas. So hopefully I have your attention now. I'm Dr. Jen Gardel, and this is the Be Your Own Doctor Health series. And yes, vaginas is the topic. Okay, well actually more specifically, vaginal steaming is the topic today. Now how many of you heard of vaginal steaming? Right? I actually had to look this up. I mean, I've heard of vaginal steaming, but as a family doctor, I didn't even really know what it was. So I'm gonna break it down for you. Some say that vaginal steaming was actually an ancient process that's been done for a long time. I thought that was really interesting. But the idea in general is that you steam your vagina, yes, I said steam, for about 20 to 45 minutes um, using water that's been infused with herbs. This vaginal steaming is supposed to do a lot of things. It's supposed to cleanse the vagina, it's supposed to like rejuvenate, it's supposed to help with reproductive organs, lots of things. But that's not all. I actually found a few other things. Okay, so online it says, do, 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 oh, that it can reduce menstrual symptoms, things like bloating, etc., cramps, exhaustion, heavy bleeding could be helped by vaginal steaming, um, boosting fertility, I think I might have mentioned that, promoting healing after childbirth, reducing stress, treating hormones. Um, so interesting, right? But you know what I'm going to say now. Can it or does it actually do these things? That's the question. The truth is we really don't have many, if any, studies that suggest that vaginal steaming does any of this. Yeah, you heard me right. So you probably are getting the idea of what I think about it. And let's not forget about potential side effects. Uh, vaginal burns, anyone? Hello? Imagine putting some hot steam underneath your vajayjay. I can see some, I can just imagine patients coming into me with vaginal burns because they've been steaming their vagina. Please don't, okay, please. But in addition to the potential injury that may happen from like putting steam underneath your vagina, the other thing is that honestly, the vagina is perfect just the way it is. No, I really mean it, it's totally perfect. And I say this because it is, it's like an oven, meaning it's self-cleaning. You don't need to do anything other than wash it to keep it the way it needs to be. And honestly, it kind of self-cleans itself. You don't need other stuff. And in fact, sometimes things like douching and steaming and all that stuff might even introduce bacteria or change the, the, the um, natural bacteria that the vagina has and make you more susceptible to other infections. So I think you're getting where I'm going with this. The question is, should you steam your vagina? No, 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 let me rephrase this. Do you need to steam your vagina? Well, no. Nah, girl. Mm -mm. So my take is avoid the vaginal steaming. You don't need it. And it's not necessarily going to do the things it says that it does. My vote is, look, if you got hemorrhoids, you got problem with fertility, you got heavy periods, or all those things that vaginal steaming says it helps with, you really need to be seeing a doctor. We can help you with these things, I promise. So with that, thank you for joining me. I hope you take this advice to heart and think twice before trying to steam your vagina. Uh, I'm your host, Dr. Jennifer Cottle. I'm a family doctor. Thank you for joining me on my Be Your Own Doctor Health series. Make sure you follow me on all platforms because of course, I wanna connect with you everywhere.